Hello everybody, welcome to week four of the Super League. I have just won the toss versus Andy Devo and have chosen to receive because I have to bang him out to win, I think. I just have to dice him. I'm just going to try and dice him here. This is a very hard match to win. I would, I would back myself to draw this game. Um, but unfortunately, when you look at the league table, I absolutely have to win this one and the game versus Dimi to win. So to qualify, to have a chance of qualifying, I have to win this game and the next. So, yeah, unfortunately, the way to win is just by getting very lucky and uh, killing all these players. Basically, that's the only way I can I can actually win this game. So yeah, I've got to receive and got to get lucky. Yep. Oh, I've got a, actually got a uh, thrower. Okay, let's go here so I don't just. Oh, no, I can go there. I'm not going to get surf. Right, I can go in here. Have the big ones there. And the guard are there. Alright, so there's some kind of symmetry. There's some kind of defending against a blitz. Um, yeah, I've just got to bang him out. Like, if I bang him out, I can win. If I don't bang him out, I'm not going to win. Simple as that. Okay. That's a wolf only stunned. Diced. I haven't got my auto clicker on. Big mistake. Good. Get a pound. I'm out fielding a troll, um, so I can bang people. Oh shit, I got a guy stunned as well. So I can bang people out with Mighty Blow. It's a Naf style, isn't it? If I have a Mighty Blow Blitzer, then that's one less guard I get. I don't want one less guard. One, two. Oh, this side's better because that's where the wolf are I'm in the middle anyway. Fucking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you can go either side. I probably have to go here to just defend myself a little bit. And then if I can put that back there to defend the ball. Oh no, now there's a gaping hole. Disaster. Absolute disaster. I've just got to bang. All I've got to do is just bang. Bang, bang, bang and hope for the best. I have to not think about protecting the ball at all and just think about the two dice blocks I can make, hopefully with my e blow. But if he dices me, I just lose. Which he is his first chance. Could just push out the uh, blitzer, right? Only a stun. Good.
Blitz the fleshy. Yeah. Never lucky. Comedy Mega. Can't really push in on him while my guy's stunned, so I guess I've just got to. Uh, stay where I am. <laughs> this is not the dicing I was hoping for. This is not claw blitzing. That's something, isn't it? Blockless blitzing, even. fucking foul appearance. So, let's this guy. Good. Good. You can protect that big one from a uh, wolf blitz. Can I push right up here to encourage him to fight me up there and get more blocks? Like that would encourage him to blitz with a fleshy, right? Like it would be bad for me because he could blitz with a fleshy and then base the ball, but then I could just bang him with things. And, uh... That could be good. Like, I've got to get lucky, so... Maybe... That's what I have to do... To do it. No bench. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. I mean, he could uphill my ball carrier, yeah, but he's not going to. It's only like one in four to do anything, right? And he'd much rather like claw somebody or, you know, open up more blocks somewhere else. This is a bad move, like, it's still a bad move, I think. I think it's better to be one square back, but now this encourages him to fleshy blitz this guy and stand next to the, stand on the ball and stand this guy up. 
but that means that I can get lucky, right? He would never have stood him up otherwise. I'm sure he's going to blitz this guy. I guess what he could do is put the fleshy in there and blitz with a wolf or something, but I'm pretty sure he's going to come in with a, with a fleshy and base base everything. So now by him... Okay, he's not... Okay, well, he's still blitzing anyway, and he's still basing things. And I can get lucky with removals. But of course, he can just break. He can just KO... My AV 10 plus guy as well, of course. That can also happen. That was always allowed. Fuck me. Don't give him a claw blitz. Get an armor 10 guy KO'd. Absolute classic. But he's basing heavily. Like, that's what I want. I wanted him to base heavily and then lose lots of players. So, the strategy has worked, even if the dice haven't. He's got one, yeah, he gave up a skill for gold. That stun, unfortunately, does make everything a lot harder. And of course, he just powers everything. And breaks AV on everything. <sighs> well. I so this is uncomfortable for my drive. I mean, obviously, he's got super lucky getting two stuns, right? Ridiculous. Like, he's. <laughs> I put myself in a position to dice him, and he's the one who's diced me from it, which is insane. Not unexpected, of course, because it's Davo, but fuck me. The two stuns are brutal. The two stuns means I just lose, I think. <laughs> Instead of me winning, it just makes me lose. Literally, literally those two stuns are insane. Completely fucking insane. the only player I've got. Nope. Only a stun. Only a nothing. So I can hit with a ball carrier, but I think it's better to try and hit with him. So, I have got him based up. <laughs> Which is allegedly where I want him. <laughs> seem to the stuns have really really been annoying really annoying couple of stuns like this guy could have stepped in here right would have been great I know he just gets you know maybe too deep back but it would have still been great to have got him in there instead of not being there for another turn this guy just standing up would have been great like these two players in there protecting all of this would have been fantastic 
Like two guards were taken out for a turn. But now he doesn't have too many hits. And I've got him into a big old a big old brawl. So hopefully I can get the weight of blocks to hopefully you know dice him. Been interesting though this game I think. I think it's good that I've actively encouraged my drive to get into a worse state to try to get into a blocking war because if I win that it gives me better win chances. Even though it probably gives me lower odds to score on my drive. So that's quite good, isn't it? That's quite good. That's quite good meta... Meta maxing. <laughs> you might just 1D the troll here. I think. Which again, he just couldn't have done if I'd got the, if these two hadn't been stunned. I was so unlucky to get both stunned from no wolf hit. Yeah, he couldn't hit. He couldn't hit this guy with the walls, right? Because these two would guard behind him. Yeah, he does one day, and he gets another AV break. Fuck me, man! What is this bullshit? I just want to not be dice. I don't. I want to dice him to win, and instead I'm the one getting fucked as usual. God damn it! Which one of us has got the AV nineteen? Oh, fuck off. I just can't do anything ever. Well, wonderful bit of Blood Bowl, eh? Fuck me. I mean, it's a hard game, right? It's a hard game. Having to dice Dave or is, is not a good situation to be in. On a scale of one to not good, having a d dice table is not good. <sighs> Fuck. Brilliant. Right. Let's uh, let's look forward to him knocking everything over and breaking tons of AV. Wonderful, wonderful game. This was always going to be like you know this always had a high chance of being disappointing, of course, because I do have to dice David. But so it all it always did have high chances of being disappointing. But it's still annoying to get diced, isn't it? What can you do?
Yeah, he can afford a draw kill, yeah. That's what makes it so hard. Because even if I score on turn eight, he'll just he'll just score. I mean, I'm not even going to score on turn eight by the looks of this. I've got nowhere because I've been trying to fucking make as many blocks as I could to try and dice him. <laughs> so I've had a shit drive <laughs> trying to hurt things. Haven't hurt anything. Been outbashed. <laughs> been outbashed in a drive where the only thing I tried to do was outbash him and not even try to score. I've been outbashed. <laughs> and uh and then um what can I do? Like it's just just stupid, isn't it? I mean Andy still can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not not if uh, yeah yeah, if if Andy wins his last two and uh if Dimmy wins versus me and Andy wins his last two, Andy wins because Andy's got head to head versus Tommy. Oh, of course, of course. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> he's gone up players. Not only have I not outbashed him, he's ended up players. More players than he started with. After I sacrifice my offensive drive to outbash him. Just wonderful. Just really wonderful, wonderful dice. Blitzer. Better not, because loads of dickheads have been like, oh, Timmy can see, Timmy can see, da, da, na, 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 na. which you know, who cares what those people think? But <laughs> I guess is the other thing. Maybe I should just concede. Like this is over. I I tried to dice him, and I got diced. Game over. Game fucking over. It's not over. I mean, it was an ironic name because it, it's, it was definitely over, by the way. <laughs> it was so over. So ridiculously over. Um, that I called it's not over for a joke. Because it's definitely 100% over. But I mean, I could have diced him. I could have diced him this game. But I didn't. I got diced instead. So... That was fun. I mean, it's over now. It, it's obviously over. I hate that people like think this is weak mental or whatever, right? When it just isn't. Well, I shouldn't hate it because they're just stupid. <laughs> I shouldn't hate people for being shit and wrong, should I? That is a problem that I have. That is a problem that I have. At the end of the day, you shouldn't concern yourself with what idiots think, should you? I mean, the chance isn't gone, even after next turn, right? Even though I've got 10 players and uh, he's got 13, it's still not over, right? Devo's Devo, he can put too many men on the LOS and let me get around the sides and pressure the ghoul. He can fail the three pickups and then I can score on his drive and stuff. Like it's possible. It's not. It's not very likely, but it's certainly possible. But it's a one in a million chance, isn't it? You know? Look at you know. It's just. It's not at all. I can still win one nil, Volk. I can still win one nil. I can turn him over and score. I can still dice him. Like I can still just block Kaz, block Kaz, block Kaz. Right? Like three Kaz on the next turn, on like. A fucking fleshy, a wraith, 
and a wolf and then all of a sudden it's not over but it's realistically already over right like because those chances are so fucking ridiculously small that it's fine to say it's over and concede I'm completely fine with calling this over and conceding. It's just wasting time. Yeah, fuck it. It's just wasting time. Well, no, I won't. Uh, why? Why not? Why not? Well, I don't know. Because it does bug me. It does bug me, even when people are idiots and wrong. It still bugs me. But I know it should. Be. But it still bugs me. He can stand up, he can stand up. He can just cast this guy. Yeah, but it is over though. It was an ironic team name because it is over. It was just a joke. It's a joke team name. Don't use my fucking team name against me. Don't use my joke team name against me. Alright, KO. There you go. He could stay out, right? He could stay out. It could not be over. I mean, it is over. It's definitely over. Say it's over. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, GFI here. Might as well. Double GFI here. Yep. Right. Is this guy in range? Yeah. The thrower isn't in range. <laughs> the thrower isn't in range. And this guy's going to get clawed. Wonderful. Fucking Mr. Thrall so terrible, isn't it? He's so fucking terrible. He's so ridiculously shit. Do you know what I should have done? I should have handed off this turn, shouldn't I? I should have realised he'd be out of range and then swapped these two so that this guy had the ball. So I'd have had a, you know... I could, he could have just started on him already so I don't have to hand off because now you can base him to make it even harder. Now oh, I guess I'm gonna throw it to him. This is a lot easier, isn't it, if this guy has the ball and blitz him and then like jump over him and stuff. Now what do I have to do? I don't even know. Uh, do I have to dodge here? <laughs> I can do a dodge. That's for sure. And then block him. The problem is... I've got to push him to there. So I've just got to, just got to push bits him from here, right? And then four... What about this guy? Push him to the... Fill in these two squares? 
block him to there, block him to there, push him up. That could be good, couldn't it? Is that good? What does that do? Um, then I blitz and surf the ghoul. Power him first. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Let's blitz him then. Power him. And then, uh, dodge, jump. Dodge, 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 and then pass to him. <sighs> okay, he didn't power him. Wonderful. <laughs> so now it's what, five, four, three out this way, I guess? Just hand it off to him first. Let's go. I should hand it off to him last turn. Right, so still in with a shout. His fleshy stays out. His lineman doesn't matter. His fleshy stays out. And I like roll of blitz and cas a wolf on the blitz or something. <laughs> oh, getting dice in a game you had to dice somebody to win does not feel good I fucking hate not making the playoffs twice now I haven't made the playoffs fuck me he's going to take the push and surf isn't he no he's not oh he can surf the body anyway Only gets the one surf unless he tries the four plus, <laughs> the four plus pickup. <laughs> what a what a dickhead! Go on for that. That's fair enough, right? He's, he knows he's won anyway. It's a completely reasonable thing to do once you've won for fun. He knows it's over, he's not stupid, is he? That is, I mean, that is a problem with Blood Bowl, isn't it? When, when you know it's over and you've just got to pointlessly play it out. But I didn't, I could have conceded. And I definitely would have done if I wasn't uh, streaming. So maybe I should have done anyway. Because, like, I can't qualify, right? So, what's the point? 
But there is a chance. There is a chance. He could quad skull. First block, quad skull. And then I could cas everything. And then he could quad skull again. <laughs> and then I could cas everything. And then he could fail all the pickups. And then I could cas everything. It, But it takes a lot now. If Fleshy came back, of course it did. But I, you know, there is still a chance. It is technically a chance. But, uh, yeah. Not a good situation. If I just had to, uh, if I just had to draw, or I felt like I'd been happy with the draw, then my offense would have been totally different. I would have still. Probably got shot on and maybe not score, but I'll have a better chance of scoring than what I did. Well, they might have got banged out even harder, but then got the draw, right? But the problem is, I have to not just score and get banged, I have to bang him out. Oh my god, myself. Which is a tough ask. Maybe I could have, should have just kicked and <laughs> try to bang him out on defense and not care about the ball at all and only try to bang him out on defense. But then he's gonna score on turn eight and then I just gotta like be up against seven players or something to go for the win and like that's just too unlikely as well as I thought. Mega greed, try to bang him out and score. That was the correct way. Maybe it was. You know, it, it was a dicing. I, I needed the dicing the other way, and it wasn't. I do not like the orc matchup. It's it's too easy. It is actually too easy to get diced, right? Because they get claw hits on you. And, uh, and you lose a player, it's really bad. It's just really bad if you lose a player, isn't it? Like any player for Orcs is just a fucking clever bastard. Can you believe him doing the right thing? Outrageous. Why isn't he like all these Reddit heroes who confidently assert things? God damn it. Missed the ball. <laughs> yeah, he's just going for the quick score to draw, isn't he? Well, I mean, he's also getting a 2-0. <laughs> to be fair, he's also getting a 2-0 out of this. Um... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? It probably is. Is this a one? I've got two assists, he's got two assists. Of course it's a skull. Wait. Let's fucking go! Yes! Murder kill! <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Fuck me.
<laughs> well, I mean, that was a funny turn at least, wasn't it? I could have killed his wolf, right? I could have killed his wolf. I could have killed his wolf. <laughs> it was pathetic. It summed up my dice for the game, but there you go. need him to fail, don't I? Quad skulls now, give me a chance. Just a cheeky, you know, there's like, you know, there's a one percent, there's not a one, there's a point one percent chance. There's a point one percent chance, let's go. Oh well, shit, Art's playing his uh, NAF Cup game. Dub Skulls. Yes! One in nine? One in nine? Oh, Dub No, you bastard. You lucky bastard. Ah. God damn it. God damn it. I really, he should have gone for a GFI, right? right? I know there wasn't a GFI, but I should have just gone for the GFI. Because this is shit, he just dodges out. I think he's just going to double GFI, because if he doesn't lose this, he's pretty cool. Oh, he could double one! Oh, he didn't. Yeah, well. Job, job for Dave, wasn't it? Now he's just got to win his last game and he's alright. I can try to go for a 2-1 win. <laughs> Which is obviously ludicrous. He's obviously completely ludicrous, no chance at all. But it's what I have to do, right? There's only one thing to do. As stupid as it is. And it's the only play, it's the only play. He even got a timeout as well, dirty bastard. Nine fucking players. If, if there's a blitz or anything, that's fine. We're already in, like, ridiculous, you know, insanity dice territory, so... <laughs> ah, 
I fought the dice and the dice won. The fucking double one on the mustard. It's actually helping me here, isn't it? Actually, this split. <laughs> oh, good, a push, just what I needed. is this honestly it's not over don't say it's over Like, maybe we could have drawn this 1-1, one, one, right? Maybe we could have drawn this 1-1 one, one if it was the first game of the season. But uh, the fact that I'd lost to Hero and Tree meant that I had to just go for a win, which was just stupid and not something that Orcs can't do, right? It's just something Orcs can't do. So, um, it's not about confidence, is it? It's about reality. <laughs> There's nothing more stupid than saying that confidence matters at all in Blood Bowl. Sorry, it doesn't. It's uh, it's assessing things and making the correct decisions. It was the correct decision to try and dice him, but um, it, it was over. Then. It was over. It was, it was completely over. Like even if I draw, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me if I draw. The draw is not good enough for me, so we just concede. So there you go. Congrats to Andy. Um, is now level with Dimmy at the top there, and uh, we'll probably. It's probably pretty safe, isn't he? It's probably pretty safe. Though if, if Miss Spell Tree beats him in the last game, she'll have head to head over him. Um and then Sol also has head to head over him. And Sol could win his last game. Oh, fantastic. There is a there is somebody I can ban. Well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> well, I am happy about that. That is a great thing. Something good has come from conceding. Because, you know, the idiots get to self-identify themselves. So that's good. Thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, there could be... There could be a four-way tie. Um, I mean, yes, Volk. <laughs> it's my channel. If somebody... I literally just talked for about half an hour saying how people are dicks about conceding. And then as soon as I conceded, somebody did that. So, yeah, they can get banned. It's very easy to get banned. It's very, very, very easy to get banned. If I think you're a prick, I ban you. That's simple. It's my judgment. 
It is. I'm not going to stand for anybody. Why would I stand for anybody here just to be a prick? It doesn't make any sense, does it? I've got nothing to. I've got nothing to gain. So they can just fuck off instantly. Zero tolerance. Anyway, um, congratulations, Andy. He definitely won that fair and square. I think it would have been nice to have played the game at the start of the season, but I still think it, fav it favours the un necro, uh, necro anyway, right? Like, I lost 2-0 to Hiru. That was a really tough match. It would have been a really tough match versus Andy, even if I could have drawn it, um, like if I could afford a draw. But the fact that a win was the only thing for me was just... I really had hardly any chance of winning that game. I could have diced him in the first half. But he diced me. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.